Hi, I'm Chef Mark with this Cafe Online. Today I'm with Michael, our dining room specialist, front of the house specialist, discussing wine segment. Michael, nice to have you here today to discuss with us a pre-shift, uh, which is a stand-up meeting that we do in restaurants, um, I think every day, of the, every day of the week, right? It's supposed to be done every day. <laughs> right, right, right. So I have, um, the reason why I'd like to do them is so that my specials or some of the selected menu items that I've prepared for my customers can be tasted by the servers and, and that's so important and today I have a nice halibut that I pan seared Michael and I have a gorgonzola mustard cream so that's one of the dishes I have have for us to taste for the service today what, what do you think we what should we pair with that I guess that's my big question what should I pair with that from wine perspective today well, we're going to find out. I, have, mm -hmm. I, brought a, I brought a couple of different whites along I see. To, uh, to pair with this. Uh, I brought a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Right. Uh, we also brought a Chardonnay mm -hmm. uh, from Washington, um, Columbia Valley to be specific. I see. Uh, so, um, you know, when you're doing a pre-shift and the chef is introducing the dish, uh, I think it's important that the servers make sure they pay attention to every mm -hmm. single ingredient. Mm -hmm. um, is that just salt and pepper on the halibut or they do a little blackening seasoning on there? Uh, when it comes to the, uh, the, the, the cream sauce, looks like we have some herb in there as well. Mm. We have thyme. So there's thyme, Dijon, sour cream. A little so, rosemary uh, as well. Rosemary as well. We're uh, uh, knowing all those things is very important, not just allergy wise, but uh, also uh, for the guest preference. Um, and it'll also influence um, how, how it's going to pair with, uh, with our wines here as well. So the first white wine, uh, I, I saw that earlier. What is that wine and uh, what are some of the characteristics of it? Uh, it's a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. So oh, those Sauvignon those Blanc, are, great, those smells are wonderful. Characteristics that are very um, beautiful. Very, very usual suspects when you're dealing with a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Beautiful. You're going to get crisp acidity, um, which may or may not work with uh, with with this dish. Uh, it, it usually will. It usually will work nicer with the fish, especially if we have a cream sauce with that. I find the acidity in the wine uh, paired with a with, with with a fat with a cream um, uh, tends to work nicely. And kind of, tends to cut through it pretty nicely. Great. So well, let's taste it first, and then we can try some of the fish and then taste it a second time. Sounds good to me. Cheers. Cheers. Santé. Here's some of that gorgonzola mustard sauce. Looks great, Joe. Have a little taste of that. We cooked the halibut just a little under to keep it moist. That rosemary gives it a, a nice, unique um, spice note. Should we try it again now with the assembly uh, and see? Absolutely, absolutely. So what do you think? What do you have to say about that? I think it's a perfect combination. Mm, great. Perfect. You know, the, uh, the herbaceous notes from the sauce, uh, I think complements the herb flavors that you get in the wine. Uh, obviously citrus and fish, we all know that uh, that works very well. Mm, um, mm. And again, that acidity cutting through the fattiness of the cream and that gorgonzola. Oh, yeah, it's perfect, it's beautiful. It's great, it is good, nice combination. Should we try it with the Chardonnay? Yeah, as let's well? try the Chardonnay. Who knows? We might like this one better, or uh, we'll find out. All right. So this is a Columbia Valley. It's a little darker in color than a Sauvignon Blanc. Absolutely. You know, you're not going to get you're not going to get that same acidity. Let's see how it works. All right. Cheers. Sounds great. So different, the, the, the Chardonnay, huh? Night so day. different. Yep. One of the first things you notice, it doesn't have that acidic bite, like I mentioned. Much more creamier mouthfeel. It doesn't have that bite at the end. Completely different fruit flavors. Where you're very heavy in citrus and grapefruit with the Sauvignon Blanc. The Chardonnay is more, much more heavily in the apple and pear. Well, oh, I, I can taste that, which, which is remarkable. I can taste that apple in that, as you just mentioned. So they said this is a Columbia, Columbia, uh, Columbia Valley. Valley, and that's in Washington. Correct. Uh, I don't know, I kind of like the Sauvignon Blanc with that fish. I was gonna, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know, especially especially with that sauce, some of the things we talked about uh, um, that made the Sauvignon Blanc work so nicely, they're, they're, they're not there as much with the Chardonnay. Uh, Chardonnay is generally gonna go a lot better with shellfish, mm. um, and maybe mm. not so much um, with, that, with that cream sauce. Mm. 